everyone loved the solidarity video so much that our favorite Swedish high tide player Marcus Ewald has submitted a donation deck for the sorcery speed version of the deck called Spiral Tide. If you're an old person, much like me, you probably remember there was a deck before Spiral Tide called Spring Tide, and that deck was a Claw of Fairy Snap deck. You don't have to play those cards anymore. We have a more powerful effect in this deck, and that is Time Spiral, which actually used to be banned in Legacy and then was unbanned. And Marcus has been championing this deck in Legacy Challenges the last few months. I think Marcus has three, possibly four top eights in the last two months during this, you know, Delver-based metagame. So Marcus is definitely putting up numbers, and this deck is fairly strong. If you're unfamiliar with the deck, it's mostly based around this card, High Tide, where all of your islands tap for two mana. Well, one additional mana, I should say, because sometimes your islands tap for six mana. Uh, so High Tide is, you know, essentially a, most of the time a one-sided mana flare. And then you have Time Spiral to untap up to six lands and then draw seven new cards. From there, you know, you cast a bunch of cantrips, all that good stuff. Eventually, you cast Cutting Wish for Brain Freeze or a very large Blue Sun Zenith. That is the idea behind this deck. You're just a mono blue combo deck that's a little bit slower, but you have more controlling elements such as Force of Will, Cluster Storm, all that good stuff. Um, if you have any questions on this deck, feel free to leave a question in the comment section down below. I will answer all of them, but I'm also willing to bet that Marcus is going to be reading it and will probably answer some of those as well. So definitely leave a comment, get us into that YouTube algorithm, and I would appreciate you. As always, you can like, comment, subscribe. Those things are great to do. They're free. They help support the channel. Why wouldn't you want to do that? And then we have our member section, that join button next to the subscribe button, where you can unlock badges, emotes, cyber guides, donation decks, you know, the member section of the Discord. Tons of sweet, sweet stuff. Definitely check that out. And then we have the epicsfirm.com slash donation decks, where you can be like Marcus and submit your combo deck to be featured here on this very YouTube channel. We have the epicsfirm.com slash shop where you can get card singles, sweet, sweet storm merchandise, and our mini token pack that has storm and mana. So that way you can keep track of all of your islands. Well, we, I'll be honest, we only have 10 blue mana. We're going to need a lot more than 10 for this video. So maybe you can use the blue mana symbols for how many, uh, how much mana your high tides tap for because 10 is not going to be enough, but definitely go get a mini token pack anyway. That's my intro. I hope you liked it. I will see you in match number one. And once again, thank you, Marcus. I do appreciate you. See you in round number one. Welcome to match number one. We're on the draw. I have no clue what our opponent's playing. But, you know, this hand's pretty good. We have Force. We have Tide. We have an untap effect with Turnabout. So that's something I didn't cover in the intro. Turnabout is an additional way to untap your islands and make a bunch of mana. And then we have, you know, a cantrip for hitting additional land slash business. I love this. We're definitely keeping this hand. If I think if I had to force early, I'd probably get rid of the pact, but we'll see how it, you know, goes. Flooded strand. So likely a blue deck. Old rags. Yep, you can have your rag of I'm not going to that. Draw. And I think I'm just going to go get an island out of the deck. Well, you can have a force. Oh, I forgot. That's not how that works. Whoops. That's not Serum Visions. I'm so used to casting Serum Visions in Modern that I just stacked that wrong. Yikes. I didn't actually want two forces. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> okay. And Ragavan hits. High Tide. Jigs up. Impressive iteration, okay. Volcanic Island was revealed. Bobble. Now they're targeting us. So I think what I'm looking to draw is another island and then time spiral. Mm, wish is a card. We don't really have that much to get with wish if you look at it like there's no like meditate or any value blue card we do have this blue sun zenith that requires roughly infinite mana all right so i do want to keep the brainstorm i'm going to let them exile tide again in the next turn we can cast brainstorm okay they're casting tide i love it four mana 
That's a Merc Tide. I'm going to let that go. Okay, draw. Love the land. Let's see if we can spike a time spiral. Hmm. I think I'm allowed to get rid of one of the forces here. I don't love the Cunning Wish, so maybe get rid of that. Go to 14 and fetch. Reordain. That was good. Um, I don't really want them having predict. Okay, so next turn we have Time Spiral with double backup. Will that be good enough? Right now the Merchant Scrolls are pitch card to force of will. We have turnabout to generate some mana. We should be able to beat a daze as well. Well, I don't want you casting that. Good thing you can't. It's kind of a bummer though, because like that's a card we would have liked to um, draw into. We don't really want to remove a times power from the deck, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay. We drew another times power. High tide. We will pack that. And they're trying to find a force off this brain. Does my pack resolve? I will pay one. This does make us a little bit weak to a second daze. That yeah, son of a gun. All right, so they have two lands in hand. I'm going to force this. If their last two cards are force blue card, they got me. All right, so now we'll turn about ourselves land untap time spiral so we're only going to have two spirals left in the deck we hit another tide i don't yield that i don't care about that um i'm gonna start off on another tide let's brainstorm try to set up a predict here that was very very good um predict ourselves named misty so one of the things that i dislike about predict is that it forces you to brainstorm poorly sort of like right here we didn't really want either and i had to redraw this island um let's reordain first i don't know if it really matters all that much here i'll take another tide so one of our backdoor plays that we can make here is that we can Cunning Wish for Blue Sun Zenith for a whole buttload. That's kind of the idea with this uh, new hand that we have going on. Uh, Fluster Storm is very, very welcome here. Okay, turn about target ourselves. I think I've only played Spiral Tide once in my life before this. Well, you're going to get four. I have played Spring Tide in my life because I liked I was really into like random high tide brews uh quite a bit before creating the Epic Storm. There, there was bubbling muck and high tide, and I tried to play like both in the same deck with uh Watery Grave when it came out. I've been playing Magic for a very long time. So I played like a bunch of like the Cloud of Fairies, you know, style of decks because that's what existed at the time. Now we get Zenith. And our opponent's conceded. <laughs> I don't know if they were actually dead there, but I'll take it. All right, so we can probably bring in these packs. That has a lot of counter spells in it. I feel like I'm about to offend Marcus, but I kind of want to board up Predict. Marcus, I apologize in, in advance. Please don't be angry at me. But I'm boarding up Predict here. I, I just don't think we have the time to, uh, you know, fuss around with Predict. Just, like, let's get our opponents dead. We have all these free counters. Buster Storms. Like, there's so many counter spells in this deck. And uh, we're just going to try to win that way. In theory, you could, like, maybe board out Intuition and keep in a Predict. But Intuition is a part of the Merchant Scroll package, so that way you can just tutor up a uh, Time Spiral. Yeah, I think that this is it. I guess like you could board out or leave a pact in the board. A lot of counters here. 
Um, I'm gonna keep seven. I just don't know what this hand does, so I'm gonna ship it. Bottom force, and uh, this hand's probably a little bit better, just because like I can see myself winning with this hand. Like we have cantrips to find lands, but also high tide and time spiral, where the other one just like sort of sat there praying that praying that it just draws the right cards, and I don't want to be doing that. Right, volcanic into probably monkey. There we go. All right. Let's preordain. Nope, don't want these. All right. So we found one of the key cards, but at this point in the game, I do need land number two. My rags is getting in there. Cunning wish. So they can go land Cunning Wish and get an instant from their board. I don't know what good instance they would have in their board, though. And they're opting to not cast Cunning Wish. Ponder. We need to make our land drop, so I'm looking to draw an island here. Okay, so they've played a Delta. Now they're going to fetch. And another channeler. Three cards left in their hand. They are bringing the pain with all these creatures. Island? I'll take it. Brainstorm. We found Tide. Here we go. Let's get rid of this Cunning Wish and Ponder. And let's try to find Land and Pact. I think I keep Force. All right, we just need Lands at this point. I guess I, I should probably not F6 through my opponent's. <laughs> um yeah brainstorm's good so murktide they now have delirium so we're taking eight right now so this fluster storm is actually a liability now or not fluster storm this force because they have eight damage so i'll go to uh nine next turn and then they have eight more the following turn so if i force of well i'm dead Maybe I should have bought them the force. Damn it, and they exiled the island. That could have been an island in my hand. They have four cards. Delta, down to three cards. Cross of iteration. Got it. So now they're going to stay at three cards. I believe they've played a land already, so that what is strand doesn't matter. All right, come on, Duck. Not an island. So that's bad for me. Um, we have to hope to live now. Like, I think I'm supposed to let them have the Cunning Wish. Hmm. So this force is just a dead card now. Too slow. Yeah, this just isn't going to pan out. Because the reason it's not going to pan out is that I know that I'm drawing into the Merchant Scroll, assuming that I even live through this turn. And that when I go to High Tide and then to Turnabout, I can't protect myself. I don't have the mana to cast Fluster Storm, and I don't have the life to, to pitch for Force of Will. They can Cunning Wish for Lightning Bolt here. <laughs> and it looks like that's what they might be doing. You got it. And they picked up a lightning bolt. And they are wisely not casting it. So I auto yielded auto yielded to the surveil triggers when I probably shouldn't have. But now we need to potentially like this isn't gonna resolve because I'm I'm going to get dazed here. But the idea is that we would daze and then fluster it. Yep, and it's dead. All right. Game three. I'm just going to resubmit. Okay, on the play. Sure, I like lands. I'm taking a mulligan. Okay. Let's just get a land out of that I can cast this Bardane. We have this fetch land later if we draw into a brainstorm. Reordain. 
Yes. All right, so we just want to find a high tide now. All right, so they're going to bobble me, see my time spiral. They targeted themselves, okay. So we know that we're drawing the time spiral. Just trying to find a high tide at this point. Monkey, sure. And they're looking like they're keeping up a pyroblast or something along those lines. This finds a uh, high tide. If they try to counter this, I can't fight. Because these packs uh, don't align well. Get that tide. The yeah, exiled island. Five cards in the opponent's hand. Like another time spiral. So on their end step, we're going to cast Cunning Wish. Probably trying to get turnabout. And Ragavan getting in there once again. Search and scroll so that they can cast that and go to get a Force of Will. I don't love that. Just Demonic Tutor for Force. What are you doing? Okay, they're sacrificing Pluto Delta. Casting Merchant. And they picked a Brainstorm. That's interesting. Maybe they feel that they don't need another force effect. That, or their hand is so bad that they feel like they need to fix it with Brainstorm. One of the two. <laughs> okay, so Cunning Wish resolves. So let's get Turnabout. Now, I think we want to draw a land here. I'll take a Fluster. Um, a little bit nervous about going for it. I wonder if I should wait a turn. Because my fear is if I go tied, they daze me, then I turn about and they have another daze. I have pack packed, but I could get got. My fear is like if I wait and don't hit a land, I'm just allowing them to get further and further ahead. But I think I'm probably supposed to wait. Like Fluster wasn't a bad draw. I just need another land. Brainstorm. Okay, so Ragavan's going to knock us down to 12 here. They'll get another treasure. And I really want to draw an island. Tide. Are they casting high tide? Under. Okay, they have seven cards. They're fetching. And they've decided to pass. Okay. Draw. Not a land. Let's uh, see if we can find one, though. No is the answer. <laughs> um, ease. Maybe I give them Spiral? I have to discard. Forgot about that. Maybe I just discard a Fluster? Or, like, one of the turnabouts. High Tide, Days, Bolt, that brings me down to 9. Okay, so we have to go off with only 4 lands. I don't feel very confident in this. This looks like a Murktide Regent. You got it. Okay, so can we cobble together a win? I'm going to guess no here, and it's not anything to do with the deck. We just gave our opponent way too much time. That resolved. Wow. I wasn't expecting that to resolve. Fact. Looks like they have another. Fact. Am I allowed to untap? Of course. What's the white for? Oh, it's for days. Oh, Force and Negation. So they have two cards in hand. We lose the double dace or force blue card here. Turn about. Okay, that's a good sign. Untap. Spiral, baby. Okay, trees are lands. Auto yield to that. I don't care about those. Tide, Tide, and then Brainstorm. 
Then we're going to. Okay, we can put these back. Faction cast brainstorm, and then we can shuffle with merchant scroll. Merchant scroll can get intuition, which can get another tide or another spiral. I mean, oh no, we have two spirals exiled because one got exiled to um, Ragavan, so that's off the menu. Hmm. You probably don't need double scroll here. So let's merchant scroll. I guess maybe we get brainstorm or do we get cunning wish? Yeah, there's only two spirals. Each island taps for four. A little bit worried about getting loose on Zenith. I just, it's six mana up front before the draw even. But maybe that's better than getting. I just don't know. All right. Come on, Ponder. Give me a turnabout. There we go. And a spiral? Okay. I'm going to try to not spiral here. 16 mana. Land, untap. Cunning Wish. Yes. Good blue sun zenith. Zenith ourselves. And I think I want to leave like 12 mana floating. That gives me force with uh, double days back up. Actually, let's do triple days just to make sure that I don't get got here. Um, Actually, that's a mistake. I should have left more floating because if I have to double force, I can't turn about. So that's why that's a mistake. Okay. This Cunning Wish needs to win the game. Actually, that's not true. We have Blue Sun in our deck now. Um, let's Preordain. Put Fluster on the bottom, draw Preordain. Preordain. I don't really need another Spiral. Let's just Merchant Scroll. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. I was like, I'm looking for a Turnabout, and I could have just like went and got it. Land, untap, under, don't need those, under, hmm, guess I can keep the scroll here, they make a bunch of mana, turn about, my fear is that I end up having to spiral again, and then I blank. That's why I'm trying to avoid casting Spiral here. Under. I like the Brainstorm. I don't actually know what Merchant Scroll gets anymore. Okay, well, that was kind of bad. Is it all? We get one Brainstorm left? Oop, I guess I get Blue Sun Zenith. Um, 42 is not enough. Ooh, what I can do, I can I actually, um, one, two, Cunning Wish, go get Snap, or I guess I could have just gotten Brain Freeze, but I guess for some reason I decided to get Snap, 47, and now redeck them, multiple ways to skin a cat or something like that, right? I mean, technically, I think the Brain Freeze kill was better, but here I am. I want to keep my Fluster up, which is why I'm not paying for it. And if you do 42, your uh, your opponent gets an upkeep, which means that they can, like, double bolt me out, and I don't want that to happen. But we won the match anyway, so I'll take it. 1-0 with Spiral Tide over the best deck in Legacy by multiple miles. Stick around. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of this video. Match number two when we're on the play. Keep. Has islands and blue spells. What's not to like? All right. Island go. What? Is it a mirror? Probably not. Ponder. Goes to shuffle. Brainstorm. That was pretty good. We can get rid of this intuition. 
it, when you have merchant scroll to go get tied eventually i think we're probably supposed to just like pass here hold up the foster for something bad okay draw i like the ponder merchant scroll I tied. Now let's see if we can find a force off this ponder. Another tide. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this and just pray that my opponent doesn't play Narset. Okay, not Narset. I'm a fan. All right. So in theory, I could try to jam here because we can go high tide, high tide, and then those tap for six. I don't know if I love that idea. It's certainly an option. Hmm. Okay, predict. Name island. Marcus, I hope you're happy. I cast predict. Okay, and then let's preordain. All right, we need our opponent to not play that card that I said last turn that I don't want them to play. They probably can't beat that card. I guess there's like Cutting Wish or Echoing Truth. Doesn't feel good. Okay. Blue red again. I'm fine with that. I was afraid that we were about to be shown and then told. Wait, uh, I don't know the last time I that I saw Sneaking Show with Vistas though. Okay. Swords. These damn predicts won't go away. That was an F6. What are you doing, friend? Time spiral? Pitching Jays. Spiraled? Okay. Let's tie it again. Reordain. I like these. Brainstorm. Put back to island. Interesting. Okay. Full merchant scroll. Um, I think we're supposed to, we have three spirals left, correct? Am I blind? They're here. Okay, so, I think we're supposed to get Pact Negation, and then Merchant Scroll for Intuition. Where did you go, Intuition? There it is. Oh, I have to target them, my bad. Intuition does target, which means that you can get uh, Veil of Summered. I've definitely Veil of Summered some Intuitions before. Spiral. Spiral. The Spiral. Okay, our opponent picks a Time Spiral to give to us. And then we Time Spiral again. And this looks fairly good to me. I don't think I want to cast these tides yet until I find an action spell off one of these two cantrips. Intuition's fine here. Hmm. Yeah, we probably want to keep intuition. Ponder. Okay, I like this. Cast the brainstorm, try to put back these two islands. Okay. We're going to attempt to create roughly infinite mana. 36 mana. Turnabout. Land. Tap. Intuition. And now we go and get... Where's our Cunning Wish? We have three Cunning Wish. Okay. Cunning Wish. So I think we're probably supposed to get Brain Freeze here. But I also kind of just want to Blue Sun our opponent out. It's a real dilemma. But I think we're supposed to do the Brain Freeze. Like, what if for some reason our opponent had, you know, double counter spell and just decided not to force Intuition and I get blown out? So it's better to play it safe. Okay. So I think we're actually supposed to board in the snap here, which sounds crazy, but the reason why is if our opponent plays Metal Image on Cunning Wish, we just can't win. So the snap should probably come in. 
Hmm. I wonder about the packs. I'm not sure. Like, maybe the Echoing Truth, too. Five cards is a lot, though. Well, we could probably leave one packed in the board. I mentioned that previously. But then, like, I wonder if you can just, like, skim on Preordains. Call it a day. Let's try it. Marcus would probably never board like this, but... Sorry, Marcus. You paid me to play it, and you didn't give me a sideboard guide, so... Your own fault. Really, though, not even joking... I used to be someone like back in 2008 to maybe 2013 or 2014 where I would always skim when I sideboarded and it was just wrong. Um, it just wasn't the best board strategy and I did it for a long time. And I don't know when it hit me. It was probably around like 2015, maybe end of 2014, where I just started having more success just completely removing a card from my deck where especially when they were like filler cards like Preordained where they're just like smoothing stuff out. Where in post board games you just want more hammers. Don't know how I feel about this, but I'm probably going to keep it. Predict naming island is likely going to happen. Okay. And we hit the snap. Thunder. Okay, our turn now. We hit an island. Beautiful. On their end step, we're probably casting predict naming island. Another ponder. They did not shovel. Okay, predict. Here's predict. And we are going to name island. Mills high tide. That's a bummer. <laughs> Draw. I have seen high tide players in my life board out a high tide so that way they can cunning wish for it, but also dodges things like surgical. Maybe that's a way that I could have boarded. There's a wish. Let's force that. Whoops. Cunning wish. Um, actually, I can't. I was like, oh, I can get force indication. That doesn't work here. Um. Really annoying. Yeah, there just sucks. You got it. You can't play a Canis and then try to play another spell. Come on. You should know better. There's Pact. So, theoretically, I could try to win on my next turn. On High Tide. That sucks. <laughs> um, What to do? Yeah. So that really, really stung. And I get punished for not boarding out a high tide. Maybe I'm supposed to board in dress downs? Try to snap. My opponent just has the force ready. Alright, so I clearly boarded wrong. Let's fix this for the third game. Alright, let's take out a tide. Probably want dress downs, and then we probably want to leave a answer in the board. So let's leave the echoing truth in the board. Sorry, Marcus, I'm boarding out the predicts. I think I'd just rather have the consistency of preordain. Mm. This is probably fine. I wonder if I could board out a fluster. Yeah, let's do that. So the reason I want to board out a fluster is like I got bit that game for not having a counter spell that I could cunning wish for. That I could protect with. Fine. Okay. Get an island and cast Breardain. I'm bottoming both. I really just want islands in high tide and counter spells. So that's why. Go go high tide. Ponder. These are all really good cards, but not what we need. Okay, let's just draw Time Spiral. Preordain. Let's see if we can hit a fetch here. That was good. Um, so I, I think I actually don't want the fetch. 
So next turn, I think what I'm going to do is maybe Merchant Scroll for Fluster for Pact. And they're passing. They did not shuffle off that ponder. Scroll. And I think I actually want Fluster. Okay, and they're passing. So I think what we want to draw here is an island, if possible. I would also take like a Pact of Negation. Intuition. Yeah, I'm going to pass in a, on their end step cast Intuition, I think. But I also saw that they brought in surgical so maybe i don't want intuition you can have a mentor that's fine intuition if this resolves i'm probably just getting packed in negation sure you you can counter spell my intuition i don't care about that okay so this is definitely our window to try to win that was a good pickup tide in response tide I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. I think it's force here. Hide. A turnabout. Land. Untap. Now a spiral. They know that we have fluster in hand. Force of will on our spiral. I will fluster that. They have two unknown cards. So it could be force blue card. I really hope it's not. So fluster. And does time star resolve? It does. Okay, plus one for the good guys. Play dark ritual. Preordain. Do I even want spiral? I think the answer is no. Let's prudin again. Running wish is good here because I can go get a turnabout. Okay, turnabout. Bunch of mana. Land on tap. Merchant scroll. Go get the last cunning wish. Cunning wish. Go get brain freeze. Cunning Wish. We'll get Blue Sun Zenith. And let's mill them for a bunch. They're going to be 48 cards, so they'll have no deck. And Woot Woot. 2 0 with Spiral Tide. Match 3 on the play. Tide, Time Spiral, Force. Ponder to find additional lands. Is this the perfect hand? Okay. Turn one island panda. That's this panda looking for an island. That was like a mix between Boston and the Bronx. I don't think that was very good. Do I even want this? Probably. We do need a fourth land. Tropical. Okay. Double Hierarch. Okay. So we're about to draw a Cunning Wish, then after that we're looking to draw Island 4. I guess I could Cunning Wish for Snap. Is an enabler. Okay, Tundra into Stoneforge. You got it. I don't care about your Stoneforge Mystic. Not 2011 anymore. Get your core artificer and get out of here. Shuko, they're on Cephalid breakfast. You got it. Okay, Island Go. Why is there no um, Ravenous Trap in your board, Marcus? Think about how easily we could blow out Cephalid breakfast right here. I don't even think Cephalid breakfast would see it coming. Does Raven has trapped their entire graveyard? How could this possibly happen to them? Playing the deck that loses to everything. Graveyard hate, creature removal, counter spells, discard. By you. There's the illusionist. 
I think we have to force here. Pitching time spiral. I'm left with a tough call because if we have to force again, what do you pitch? All right, so we're going to take three here. And I really do think I'm going to cutting wish for snap. Okay, because snap allows me to go off on my turn. We eat the island anyway. So I don't think we're going to end up casting the snap now because. If we do, we don't have a blue card to pitch to force. Uh, that could have been better. That was actually kind of sneaky. Um, yeah, like this doesn't do anything. The name Island and Prey. I hit Island. Okay. Still more lands. Firm's only three. What is this? Brainstorm? Okay. I mean, we're not going to get Storm high enough for Brain Freeze anyway. So these untap. I have 8 mana. What am I supposed to do here? Like, lose on Zenith for 2? Marcus, so you need to meditate in your board, my dude. Like, this Teferi's Realm card? No one wants to cast that. I need Meditates. This five mana draw two is not acceptable. I'm joking. Marcus and I are good friends, but I'm definitely in a bad spot here. All right, now I have to discard. Illusionist. Force of will. Okay. Is this a recruiter? They might have like a batter skull or something they can go get. The cauldron, maybe? Cauldra, yep. You got it. Brainstorm? Nope. This cauldra is going to hurt. Cauldra is swinging in for eight? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about Shuko. Swinging in for nine. Yeah, like, I just have to take it. I could Cunning Wish and Echoing Truth the germ. But they have seven manas versus next turn to just equip the stone forge and do it all again. So there's no real point. I think I'm just dead. Outside of a miracle brainstorm draw. Okay. Ponder. And a brainstorm. Alright, so I can take the predict. Fetch. And then try to name island and hit again, but... We would need, I don't even know at this point, Island Turnabout, or High Tide Turnabout. Uh, and then, even so, our Cunning Wish doesn't get anything. Ponder. It just doesn't matter. All right, let's go to game two. Duffled Breakfast. Well, normally against combo decks, you want Force Negation, but the problem here is that their key cards are all creatures, so this card stinks. So you can bring in Dress Down. Hmm. Let's just try this. Okay. This seems fine. Island into Panda. Flusta. Like keeping Flustas. Pass the turn. Panda. All right, I'll stop that. <laughs> Just trying to keep myself entertained. These matches are going very long. I'm starting to get tired. All right. Let's brainstorm. Oh, I thought I played Vista. That was a misclick. That was stinky. Let's just ditch the land. Yeah, that stunk. I, I was like convinced in my head that I played Vista there. Brainstorm. One swept teeth is being activated for what? For what? By you? Is this a noble hierarch? It is. I am so smart. Draw. Okay. 
I think I'm going to play it safe here, and I'm going to leave up Fluster. So if you don't want to leave up Fluster, you could ponder in a scroll, but I want the extra backup. All therapy. That's annoying. Sure. So if you force it, you're going down a card, and then they know what the name anyway. So like, it's not a super good move. Now they know our hand. And if they have Cephalid Illusion as plus Nomad here, what they can do is float the mana off of um, Noble Hierarch Flashback Therapy on Force, play both combo pieces, and then flashback another therapy later to hit my Fluster and I'm dead. Right, well, they don't have it. Did not shuffle off Ponder. Lavinia. That's annoying, but I think I have to force this. Let's pitch the Fluster. Um, I just don't think the Fluster is going to end up being very good when they have four mana in play. I have a force, so I get punished for pitching Fluster. You got it. So Cunning Wish can get Snap or something like that. Ponder. I, I really don't think I want Flusters. Okay, that was fine. Roll. Tied. All right, five mana. Taking three here. Turnabout? Okay, does that mean anything? So I can go Island, High Tide, Cunning Wish, Floating One, Snap, Untap Two. And then Spiral, does that work? Island for Tide, Cunning Wish Floating 1, Snap, Untap 2. Then I still have this over here. That works, assuming that everything resolves. Okay. Cunning Wish. Got our handy dandy Snap. If you have a Force, just counter it. Come on. Or counter my Time Spiral, I don't care. He's on tap. Now we fetch. Island. I roll. I have something. Or cast force. That's a bummer. You know what? I'm just going to concede here. Uh, I think that we're dead to the Lavinia. I'd rather not waste time dragging this out. So we're two and one. Run number four coming up. On the play in match number four, the sand's pretty good. We'll keep this. I feel like I've played this person before on, like, Delver, but obviously Leyline is not Delver. This is probably that Curses deck, and our hand is not very good here. No Force of Old for the lock piece. All right, well, maybe it's not Curses. Oh, it's Nick Fit with main deck Leyline? That's spicy. Okay. Caracas. Sure. I don't really want to cast either of these cards yet because they tell our opponent what we're on. And I don't want them to Cabal Therapy and name any of these cards. They did not pay any extra life. That's interesting. I'm going to let that resolve. If they name High Tide, props to you. Force of Will. Why would I have Force of Will in my hand? You read the name Bryant Cook and you thought Force of Will? Come on. Not like there's four Force of Wills in our deck, but, you know. The audacity. Okay. So we do get to put two islands into our hand here. Or into play, I mean. Not into our hand. Into play. So now what we can do is high tide, turn about targeting us. This seems like a waste of resources, but it's really not. Untap, cunning wish, yes, and then get blue sun zenith. And just draw a new hand. Eight wonderful cards about to be shuffled in. 
well, shuffled in, drawn, and then that shuffled in. I can't talk. All right, therapy resolves. No cunning wish, sorry. Another veteran explorer. Okay, let's see what we can do. That was pretty good. Um, I'm going to start off on a brainstorm here. See what I can draw. Ooh, we found high tide. I like that. Okay, let's cast our tide. Merchant scroll. Get another tide. And now we can merchant scroll again. Go get turnabout. Turnabout ourselves. Land. Untap. I'm gonna ponder. I do like that tide. All right, high tide. Why are you pausing on this high tide? All right, so that's finally resolved. Um, 22 mana. I'm going to predict myself. Get rid of one of those preordains. We drew two more. Okay. Force of will. I don't really want that. That can go on the bottom. Hey, we had a turnabout. That's sweet. Um, that's preordain. Bluster. I don't really need that. Brainstorm. Here are these islands. Let's mer I don't think I have another turnabout in the deck, but just in case. Uh, I can get Cunning Wish return about. Land. Untap. Cunning Wish. Oh, I can get Freeze here and Freeze will do it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Boom! Alright. So we probably don't need Pact Negation versus Nick Fit. Dress Down seems pretty good. Fluster does hit Therapy. I don't hate that. Probably want Echoing Truth. I wonder if we're supposed to board out Flusters. Maybe leave one. Okay, game number two. We are on the draw. This hand seems fine to me. One of the things that I like about this hand is that it's fairly good against Cabal Therapy. We don't have any doubles of anything, but also the cards that they would name with Therapy aren't typically the cards we would have in our hand. I guess maybe, like, they might name Brainstorm here, but, like, Force of Will. Yeah, we don't have that. Um, we don't have High Tide. We don't have Cunning Wish. We don't have Time Spiral. And playing Misty here is not an accident. And I say that because... I want to be able to fetch and set up a predict if our opponent doesn't flashback therapy here. Never letting living wish. And an est. Okay. Let's brainstorm. Like a merchant scroll for force, that's not bad. Uh, I don't think I need two copies of a scroll though. Okay, let's. Go get a force. Maybe I should have put back a preordain because this one can get force, but we would have wanted the other one to go get high tide, I guess, better than the second preordain. I guess one of these predicts can just be force fodder. Very macabre, sure. Care about that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna ponder and then predict. Hmm. I don't actually know if I want these. Um, doesn't really matter all that much. All right, let's pass the turn. I will name Island with my predict, and then I'll draw another predict. You can have a Fairy Macabre. All right, so they played this out because it is their plan to use it to flashback Cabal Therapy. I'll name Island. That is the card on top of the deck. We hit Spiral. Oh my. I tied. <laughs> Love it. 3-1. One round left to go. Let's get it. Sorry, Fairy Macabre. I love you. But not good enough. 
I'll see you in the fifth and final match. Can we get the 4 1 for Marcus? I hope so. All right, this hand seems great. I'm going to keep it. Okay. So you do have the choice of leaving out Flusterstorm on turn one or getting ahead by casting a cantrip. I am always looking to get ahead in my matches. If my opponent kills me on turn one, tip your cap. Uh, but I am looking to just, you know, press my advantage. Love the high tide here. Uh, I, but I'm going to bottom the ponder. We don't really need another ponder. Come on, you're on top of the deck already. There we go. Uh-oh. Looks like uh, I'm going to get punished for tapping out. Emery, so they're on the affinity deck. I don't love this. <laughs> Uh-oh. I tied. So they know that we're on tide now. They're passing. Oh, geez. All right, so I need to find a forcible for that chalice. I think we're supposed to ponder. Okay, that was actually really good. Okay, we pass here. That's a different chalice. Oh. That hurts. So, I think I'm supposed to force this. Because they'll have to discard their hand to play another chalice for one. Or play another opal. We have the fluster. So now it's not a big deal if they discard their hand because it's only one card. Yep. Now the chalice for one. I think we lost this one. Ah, bummer. So we're drawing island number three on our turn, and then we need to hit Cunning Wish for Echoing Truth. But if our opponent's smart, they'll play Chalice on three or two. Either of them works. All right, our opponent has finally acted, activated Emery. And it looks like a Chalice on two is coming. Yep. All right, so in theory, I can still win the game. It's just, like, not realistic. Um, and by that, I mean I can win the game by casting Time Spiral a bunch and then eventually casting Cunning Wish for Brain Freeze. That's our out here. I just don't think it's realistic. All right, Sigh. Into Diamond. There's Cunning Wish, but Echoing Truth doesn't answer these. Honestly, I'm just going to save time. I'm just going to go to game two. We're not winning this. So I don't think I really want pack. Um, we probably want these. I think I'm supposed to leave Echoing Truth and then board in Force and Negation for their bull. That's what I'm going to call it. For their bull. Here are these flustas. And set out to predict. All right. So it might be weird that we're boarding out Fluster Storm, but it says instant or sorcery. Most of the cards in their deck that matter are artifacts. Yes, we can fluster a forcible protecting them. But for the most part, that's not really what you want rotting in your hand most of the game. Impact and negation is pretty much only good when you're winning. And you just don't want that. So that's why we're boarding it out. All right, this seems fine. We have tied turnabout. We really just need a time spiral here. Also, a few lands. Get out of here. Go home. Knock that off. Jeez. All right. We do have this to Fairy's Realm. High Storm Count. Okay. The next turn, I can slam the to Fairy's Realm. They have one card in hand. They can hard cast a force of will here if that's what they have. Brainstorm. Not that good. Island and Teferi's Realm. So at the beginning of each player's upkeep. And they just straight conceded. Love it. All right. Resubmit. We open up Teferi's Realm again. We're going to keep it. 
Siege. Wobble. Bobble. Memory. Pedal bobble. Okay. Draw. Let's ponder. Looking to find a force. Nope. Shuffle. I could have kept the um, merchant scroll, but it's just a little slow. I should probably play out the Vista because they just have no card in my hand instead of playing the island. Lotus Petal, that's interesting. They have this deck usually doesn't play Karn. Yeah, that's the Chalice. Okay. And so now they know that I have Teferi's Realm and Prismatic Vista. So I like the Merchant Scroll here because now I can go get Force, which I shuffled it away, but now it ends up being fairly good. Because I can't Ponder. Go get Force of Will. And next turn I can even Cunning Wish instead of casting the Teferi's Realm. I shouldn't have. Uh, F6. Um, and then go get Fluster. And then what, so on turn four, when I play Realm, I can have Force plus Fluster backup. Saga, okay. Diamond. I'm interested to see what happens. Because if they play a few cards here, it in, like it encourages me to uh, play out to Fairy's Realm. But if they just like bobble pass, maybe I pulled up Cunning Wish for Fluster. Sigh. That's actually pretty spooky. Okay. They already knew about the force, so that's fine. So here they have to have force blue card, force blue card. So I think I'm supposed to play the realm. And that was actually an insane draw with the high tide. So I'm definitely slamming realm here. Okay. So on the beginning of their upkeep, they can choose one of the types. So it's uh, artifact, creature, land, or non or enchantment. And then on my turn, they chose artifact. So those all phased out. I guess, uh, I don't know why the token stayed. Because it is an artifact. I wonder if that's a bug. It's got to be a bug, right? Another enchantment. Or another chalice. That's fine, because I can choose Artifact on the beginning of my upkeep. That doesn't matter. But I think that this is a bug. I mean, bug pun, you know, not intended with the whole Thopters essentially being flying bugs, but I, I believe that these should phase out. Well, at least this one should be phased out. I love that so much, playing my Shadow Spear in my own Chalice for one. Just the type of people that play uh, Carneco style strategies. I realize that our opponent isn't playing Karn in this deck, but it's the same deck. I don't care what you say. Okay. And now we're going to name Artifact. Yeah, why aren't these phasing out? Like, they are Artifact creatures. It's so weird to me. Another Teferi's Realm. That's kind of funny. Um, we don't need it, so no point. Mm. A little bit nervous about going off here. All right. I'm just going to go for it. Pitching Thought Cast. They knew that I had the Force. All right. Spiral. That wasn't that bad. Okay. Let's cast Brainstorm, see if I can convert into uh, some better cards. Another Tide is actually fantastic here. Okay, Turnabout. Land. Untap. Turnabout. Land. Untap. And our opponent conceded. Marcus, we got the 4-1 for you. I'm happy. Uh, and Teferi's Realm ended up being pretty good, so I take back that comment that I ended up making. Um, 
I don't have any real feedback, if I'm being completely honest. Like, the deco seems fine. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of counter spells in this deck, but maybe it's just correct. I'm not really sure. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed watching it. We did get the 401 for Marcus. I'm sorry it wasn't a 5-0. Marcus deserves a 5-0 recording, but he'll have to live with this 401. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.